fun, terrific race. Look for it on TV later on this season. Hey, James Doyle here, and I'm here with Alex Tagliani, a.k.a. Tag. So how are you, Alex? What's going on, buddy? It, it, you scared it, me here for a second. <laughs> it's great to be here with you, and I just want to say that, like, what a trophy. Getting and in such a competitive series for NASCAR, it's just amazing to be, like, like that you got onto the podium at all, which is amazing. So... Yeah, it's good. It's good. I mean, uh, you, like you saw the race, you know, mm -hmm. NASCAR is uh, is very competitive and, uh, you know, we had a really good car. We led the whole race and uh, we had this green, white checker restart that, uh, you know, sometimes it goes that way. And when you have these green, white checker, people are getting really aggressive. They try to take the opportunity to make a pass. And, um, you know, like we got the short end of the stick on that race, the way it ends. But at the end of the day, the big picture is that, you know, we scored almost as many points as uh, the leader because we led the most lap, we led a lap, we were on pole, so that's three extra points. And, um, and you know, first race in Mossport, we uh, had a DNF, so it was not that good. Um, so it was really important to finish, and uh, we showed yeah. that we're strong. So, good race. Overall. Amazing. So, what is it like to be in front of 16,000 horsepower? Because I think I would be nervous if I was out there. So how did you measure 16,000 horsepower? Do you know all the horsepower in the car? You counted the car? That's how you came up with 16,000? Oh, no, 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 no. One, one of you guys told me. Oh, okay. Um, no, it's not just the horsepower, but it's just, you know, like, you know, leading the field, a bunch of guys, you know, they're, like, really, really aggressive. They're right behind you. I mean, you're basically showing them the line you're showing them the breaking points and and you know at some point that they are going to try something on you so you know like we're always you know like we're always like concerned when we have like some of those restarts um but yeah i mean it's it's fun to be in front i'd rather be in front and leading yeah like a big pack like that than being in the back well i think that is really cool and this is just a great racing community. It's a safe community. And I, I thought it was pretty awesome how when you were on your motorcycle and you came over with your daughter and I saw... And I would not say that uh, it's a safe community. It depends how quick I go on the motorcycle, right? <laughs> and You want to ride with me or you uh, want to... Uh, <laughs> but... I, I like how the crew just like was so very defensive of making sure that she was like happy and come and, on brother it's like my daughter for sure they are gonna protect her right I, they I, have I, my back <laughs> and I but I think it's really cool that they were like that and I and then I, I just think it's a very family oriented kind of sport and I think it's really cool well here you're in a you're in a good event you know like the Honda Indy Toronto uh, it starts the weekend with Friday, Fan Friday. Uh, it's free for everybody, so there's a lot of families that are coming with their kids. Just a donation is uh, is what they need to do to raise money for the Make a Wish Foundation. Um, and then the rest of the weekend, you know, people are enjoying it. Why? Because there's so many d different things that you could do. One of our sponsors, Rona, had a remote control racetrack in the middle of the paddock. You know, the kids could play and, and win. Uh, and win wheels and, and tires from other sponsor fast wheels and continental tires so yeah um, yeah it's a lot of and here she is talking about the devil you know <laughs> <laughs> I, <can't. laughs> I, 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 I think it's just great hello. to Eva, see say like hello. Say, hello. say hello to James you want to say hello say hello say hello James uh. say hello James. <laughs> tell him something it's not respectful if you don't say hello. Say hello, James. Say hello, James. Yeah. Goes by. <laughs> I I just think it's really cool that it, and the, that that you have a good relationship with her and that. The it, thing is, racing is fun in general. Like when you come to the paddock and you we bring we have the you know we're fortunate to be able to have the motorhome and then we come with the family and friends and you know every night we we've, we've cooked dinner and we have dinner with friends here and uh it's it's a lot of fun you know it's it's that's why i really enjoy racing yeah. now these days because i'm able to share it with my family and uh and this is a great event for that 
Well, that's really cool. And so, tell us a little bit about how important sponsors are to like this racing team. Well, in general, sponsors are really important for racing in general. I, I think uh, it's a very unique sport. Um, you know, it's not like the sport that we all Canadian know, like hockey, soccer, baseball. You know, you um, you will spend you know most of your time practicing your sport and 10% of the time working at it. You know, like to practice your sport. This one here is really unique because you know you need to raise money early on. You know, in the early stages of your career, you need to raise money. So you need to work, work, work so hard to be able to raise money. And then once you raise the money, you bring it to the team and you give yourself a job but that takes so much of your time that 80% yeah. of the time that you, you know your is working and 20% is maybe enjoying your your sport and your passion so yeah. sponsors are what makes this sport run you know if you don't mm -hmm. have the sponsor you can't pay a team you can't you know basically have a team and um and then you don't have a job as a driver so the sponsors are very important in our sport you have the sponsor EpiPen yeah and Tell us a little bit about how like that came uh, to be because like you have uh, allergy to peanuts yep. and like in our school it, it, they're they're very very strict about making sure okay no peanuts no nuts or anything like that so like tell us a little bit about how you got that sponsor and how that sponsor came to be. Yeah, so it started with uh, me reaching out to the people at Pfizer Canada, offering them the opportunity to... <laughs> me too, I love you. Are you going to say hi to James now because you're interrupting his show? Say hello, James. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, I, uh, I ended up reaching out to the people from Pfizer uh, telling them that yeah, I think it would be important if they could um, support the racing program and use their marketing platform of Autosport to promote awareness on food allergy. Um, and uh, you know, after doing a couple of meetings, they accepted it, they wanted it, and um, then we put together the race program, the team, and then we started year one, year two, year three, and um, we did a bunch of different things. You know, Activation One was a design contest across the country. You know, like people in the school were participating in a contest, downloading the template of the car, you know, designing the car, and then we would show up in Alberta with, with the car, you know, like painted the way the design that one um, did. You know, same thing in Ontario and same thing in Quebec. The second activation was something different. So we're always every year coming up with an idea that's, that is around the racing program that we have. I'm promoting it. I have severe food allergy to all nuts and peanuts. And uh, I mean, over the last, it's been a, an association that's been lasting for six years now. But, you know, it's a lot of work, as you know. Like yeah. there was no policy like that in the school before. Now there is to protect people that suffer from food allergy. Um, you know, like the lab label on the on the on the product that you buy at the grocery store to la to, uh, to to label the ingredients and and you know to protect people with food allergy and all this stuff has been going on with all the work that we're doing in the behind the scene and uh, you know it's try to make people you know live a safer life when they have allergies you know uh, and it's all the yeah. stuff that we're doing so it's not one thing but you know like that's how the EpiPen sponsorship started so now the EpiPen literally saves lives yeah I mean I've I've tried it uh, I've made my mistakes myself um, you know I've had things that have nuts you know in restaurant and uh, I had to inject myself with an EpiPen and uh, so yeah, I mean the the priority obviously it's it's carrying your EpiPen because you uh, you you um, you know you have food allergy, but yeah. the it's try not to you know ingest anything that have the nuts, right? So the more we are preventive, the more we are making people aware of it, you know, the better it is. Well, really cool. Now Rona is is a um, store that has lots of woods and stuff, and I I really like that like store. It's like it's like Toys R Us for me and my dad, and we really like it there. Really? Yeah. Oh, good job, brother. Me too. And it's like my uh, it's my 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 daughter's favorite store. It's my because mm -hmm. you know own project, and 
it's my second passion. I really love to build stuff, and uh, yeah, so I'm happy that we share the same passion. Yeah, cause, and another thing is that when me and my dad were building uh, storage boxes for food, like like food donation boxes, um, out of, and uh, they supplied all the wood. So I want to thank Rona for that, and I think it's really cool that they did that. That's awesome. So I just want to thank you so much for this time, and I think it's been a, like an honor to be here with you. I want to thank you so much, Alex. Okay, what about you, mate? What 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 do you do? Why, why you, you like racing? Um, yes, I like racing, but not actual driving. Do you like to uh, you like to be behind the wheel of a car, or you like to be behind the mic? Behind the mic. Okay, so you want to be a journalist? Um, commentator, presenter. Yes, and also I've started a car company, so Ooh. It, so it, that's where a, a lot of my building passion comes. Okay, in. car company, and what do you do? Uh, we're we're currently we have a GT40 on the driveway that we're currently building, and I think it's GT40. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be worth a lot yeah. of money soon, right? <laughs> and what and what we think is that uh, we, what we think is that that the earth is dying and that it needs to it's ready for the future so it's going to be a hybrid and Ooh. we think drive to the track in high in a hybrid or electric and then watch the ice engines uh, drive by so. wow so you're gonna make it an hybrid yeah and uh the time frame for that project it it's it's a prototype but we're gonna probably have it done by the end of the year really oh my god I'm looking forward to it. Or, or at least the frame, at least the frame done yeah. by the end of the year. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow you and look at w your progress on that. Really cool. So I just want to thank you so much, Alex. This has been a true honor, and it's awesome to be here with you. Thank you so much. Thanks, buddy. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you.